sure your mom did the best that she can do, but you, you are just trailer trash. Yes, no, 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 they killed them. Yes, I know it seems like that. Come on, come on, we're going home. No, I have no home. They took it from me. Murderers, murderers. <laughs> Well, I think this funeral's a bust. I put your money on Jessica. Come sit down. Come sit down. It's cruel of you to come here. Get out! Both of them. No! No! She hasn't said goodbye yet. No. No. She hasn't said goodbye. Still here! I want you to see him! I want you to see him! Don't, I want... Don't do this. I want you to see what you guys did. You know, the funeral director, he did the best that he could, but he couldn't cover up everything that you guys did. You did this, and this is how I'm going to remember. Baby, are you okay? How could I possibly be okay? Listen, that thing she said about the trailer trash was really harsh. But you know, we lived in a trailer or two, maybe three. But the truth is, we're not trash. We're survivors. Get her out of here. Now let's go. The saw my fault. I made mistake after mistake, and now you've lost your job, your home, your family, and... and she thinks that we killed Matt. No, she's just trying to make sense of it, baby. And it, it, it's something you can't make sense of. It's a horrible, tragic accident. And for her to blame you... You've always been so loyal to Jessica. You're the best sister in the world. You're nobody's sister. Mike's can't even look at me in the face. He's going to get over it. <laughs> and it's going to be okay. What do you want? Well, I just want to know one thing. Where is Sasha Natalie? All right. I don't know what you're talking about. She really isn't here. No! Well, I guess you finally learned. Learned what? Oh, you didn't find that out in all your Buchanan research? Natalie's like a jackass magnet. Day was bound to come or she woke up and realized she could do better. So wherever Natty is, good for her. She finally dumped you and moved on. No. Listen to me. Natalie is gone, and I don't know where she is. I love her. I know you do too, so I thought, maybe she was laying low here. Or she told you where she went. How do you know she went anywhere? Well, she... She left this. I read it over and over. It doesn't make any sense. Well, pretty clear to me. Everything you and Natty did came back to bite you in the ass. Now he's a mess over, so she bolted. But why now? Things were working out. Well, uh, maybe you thought that. Natty obviously didn't think so. Since when does Natalie let a letter do the talking for her? To say goodbye without, without calling you, your mom, Vicky? Does that sound like your sister to you? Hey, Max. Rex, I don't know if you know this or not, but Natalie. Jared came to see you, didn't he? Yeah. Did he tell you that Natalie didn't say goodbye to anybody before she left? Yeah, he asked me to track her down. Then why are you still here? I'm not going anywhere, Roxy. You gotta find your sister. Natalie's a big girl. When she's ready, she'll come back to us. And in case you haven't noticed, I've got some pretty big stuff of my own going on right here. Yeah, like my grandson. Exactly. And Natty doesn't want to be found. I know that. I read the letter that she left for Jared. I did too. Sounds like Natty's had enough. She's crazy about Jared. 
No one in their right mind runs out on a love like that. Well, sometimes you don't really know how much you love someone until you're apart for a while. Huh? Oh, well, I don't think Natty's going to wait ten years to come back. I mean, she'd have to be nutty to wait that long. I don't think Natty's going to stay away for ten years. When she's ready, she'll get in touch with us. If she calls you first, you better let me know. And I promise. Natty is going to be so excited because she has a little nest on That's your problem. Here we go. Is outside the LPD, here's Tabitha Baker with the latest story. We have confirmation of the shooting at Lantano Mountain earlier today. Police department officials confirmed that Landview resident Rex Balsam was shot by Lieutenant Brody Lovett. What? Mr. Balsam is reported to be in critical condition. He's currently undergoing surgery at Landview Hospital. Rex! Oh my God! Rex! He's a decorated name. God, Rex, please, you gotta be okay, please. Rex, please, okay. Before moving to Landview last spring. Mr. Baldwin was in Landview. I have to call Natalie. She's, she's gotta get down to the hospital. Jared, how can you call Natalie when you don't know where she is? Right. For a second, I almost forgot. You know, it's a shame that we don't know where she is because her and Rex are really close. You know, she, she would be devastated if she found this out. Please, you gotta let me out of here. Please, thank you. You gotta let me out of here. I gotta go see Rex. Is something wrong, then? Tess, please, please, please let me go see Rex in the hospital. I swear to God, I won't tell anybody that you're Tess. I just need to go and see him, and then you can bring me right back here. Please, Tess, I just need to see him for a little while. No. Tess, please. Please, is my brother just of course it means something to me. I'm not that hard-boiled. I just... I can't let you leave, Natty. Just please! He's dying! I may never see him! And imagine. You know, after the tragic news about Rex gets around, won't everybody be a little shocked and disgusted that you didn't come to see the guy that was pretty much your beloved brother for most of your life, huh? Huh? But that's the real you anyway, isn't it, Natalie? You only care about yourself. You don't give a damn about anybody else. Otherwise, if you did, you would have ratted out Jared the second you found out that he was a mechanic, huh? That way no one would have gotten hurt. We'd still have the company and I'd still have the love of my life. Anyway. What is it? The hospital won't tell me a thing. But the TV reporter thinks that, that Rex is not going to make it. Oh, my God. I, 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 I got to get to the hospital because maybe, maybe, maybe Natalie is going to see the news. She's going to show up there. And if she's not there, then Roxy's going to need someone to be with her. So. Oh, that's so sweet of you to think about that. You want to come? No. I can't leave Bree. You know, I, who's going to look after her? I mean, I can't let Tina do it. She could give her dog food. Right. Yeah. I'll, uh, call you. Let you know how Rex is doing. Great. Thanks. Oh, Rex might not make it. <laughs> and who are you? You can't go to the hospital. There's no one to call. You know, you just can't plan torture like this.